Hello, I'm Vineet Kumar, a technical account manager here at AWS. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve issues while starting or launching an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance based on the error message that occurs. Let's get started. If you receive an error code when you start an EC2 instance, then first open AWS Cloud Shell. Enter the command. Check the state reason message in the JSON response that the command returns. These are some of the common errors. Today, let's see how to resolve the highlighted ones. To resolve other errors, refer to the Knowledge Center article linked in the description. The first error is the instance limit exceeded error when you try to launch a new instance or restart a stopped instance and you already reached your instance limit in your region. Here are the steps to request an instance limit increased. After logging into the AWS Management Console, and then navigate to the Service Quotas Console. From the navigation bar at the top of the screen, select a region. Use the filter field to filter the list by resource name. For example, enter EC2 and then select Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. Choose View Quotas. Search for On Demand. Select the appropriate limit based on instance type. For example, select Running On Demand Standard A, C, D, H, I, M, R, T, Z instances for limit increase of the T3 instance type. Choose request increase at account level. Enter the new limit value. Choose the request button. The second error is the configuration not supported error when you encounter these two issues. One, the specified instance type isn't supported in the requested availability zone. Or two, the Amazon machine image used to launch the instance doesn't support the selected instance type. To confirm whether the specified instance type isn't supported in the requested availability zone, run the describe instance type offerings command in the AWS command line interface or Cloud Shell to check the availability of the instance types in the specific availability zones. For example, to check availability of the C5.2x large instance type across all availability zones in the US East 1, follow these steps. Open Cloud Shell and then enter the command. You can now launch the instance in supported availability zones based on the output of this command. The third error is the disk full errors when you run out of disk space on an instance. To resolve disk full errors, follow these steps. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. Choose instances from the navigation pane and then select the instance. Stop the instance. Detach the EBS root volume from the stopped instance. Launch a new EC2 instance in the same availability zone as the impaired instance. The new instance becomes your rescue instance. 
attach the root volume that you detached from the impaired instance to the rescue instance as a secondary device. Connect to your rescue instance using SSH. Create a mount point directory for the new volume attached to the rescue instance. In the following example, the mount point directory is slash mnt slash rescue. Increase the root volume size. Extend the partition using LSBLK. Compare the partition size and the volume size. Extend the file system. Get the name, size, type, and mount point for the file system using the df ht command. Unmount the volume. Detach the volume from the rescue instance. Attach the volume to the original instance. Start the instance. The fourth error is the invalid parameter value error, which means that a parameter specified in the request isn't valid, is unsupported, or can't be used. The return message provides an explanation of the error value. To resolve this, use the error message as your reference to change the relevant parameter. Let's see an example of the error that occurs if a root volume isn't attached to the instance. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. Choose instances from the navigation pane and then select the instance. Stop the instance. Detach the Amazon Elastic Block Store root volume from the stopped instance. Start the instance. You get an error, fail to start the instance, instance value for instance ID, instance does not have a volume attached at root. Open AWS CloudTrail. Go to event history, filter resource name using the instance ID. Open the start instances event name. Look for the error code client.invalid 
parameter value. So now you know how to resolve issues while starting or launching an Amazon EC2 instance based on the error message that occurs. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.